Welcome back to the show. And uh, the for those of you who have joined with us since this uh, part, we have talked about the uh, the exercise number one, and also we have done the exercise number two. And the learner's box tells you all about the uh, the meaning and the uh, the usage of the non-defining relative clause. So one more note: you have to need, you have to take note. You have to be taken. It has to be taken. That is the lookout box. The lookout box tells you to in the non-defining relative clauses. We use who, which, where, and whose, but we do not use that. All right. So in the defining relative clause, we can use that instead of who and where, what and which. All right. We can use that instead of who and which, but in the non-defining relative clause, we don't use. We don't use that, all right. So if you open to the page number twenty-five, it is a book right over there. You can see the lookout box tells you to. We often use that instead of which in informal English. We use that instead of who. So we can use it in the defining relative clause, but you cannot use that in the non. Defining relative clause, so a little bit different between the two uh, relative clauses, two types. All right, so we will move on to the exercise number five on page number twenty-seven. So let's take a look what they tell us to do. Combine the two sentences to make one complex sentence. Include the information in the second sentence as a non-defining relative clause. So the second sentence will be put as the non-defining relative clause, either at the end or in the middle of a sentence of a new sentence. So you can put it in the middle, ah,、uh, or you can put it at the end. Example: There are、uh, two ways you can write it. All right, you can write it in two ways. Example: the sep the first sentence. My sister wants to be a vet. She loves animals, so she loves animals. Is that right there? The second sentence、uh, will will be chosen as the as a non-defining relative clause. So we'll put who, which, where, who, which, where, or whose as a defining relative clause. As a relative clause. So that phrase, that non-defining relative clause, can be put at the end. Or at the middle of sentence. If we put at the middle of the sentence, we'll choose like that. My sister, comma, who loves animals, want another comma wants to be a vet. But if you want to put at the end of sentence, it will be my sis, my sister, a comma, wants to be a vet, a comma, who loves animals. All right. So, um. It can be at the middle or it can be at the end. So let's do it with me. So we all put it at the middle, so that the so that it could be the same as the example of the learner's box. So we can、uh, we can make sure that the、uh, we 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 follow the structure, the correct structure. So let's do the second sentence. My aunt earns a lot of money. She is a lawyer. So she, my aunt is a person. So we put who for the relative clause. But it said right there, the second sentence will be put as a non-defining relative clause. So we、we'll、put my aunt, my aunt, then a comma, my aunt, then put put a comma. After that is the the, the relative clause. Put who, 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 what, who then plus the second sentence. Who, who is a lawyer? So who has replaced by she? Do you remember right there? Who has been replaced by she? So we only have 
is a lawyer. So we we'll put is a lawyer after who? A lawyer. Then another comma. So after that is a finished sentence. Earns who is a lawyer? A comma earns a lot of money. All right. So a finished sentence. A finished sentence before that earns a lot of money. So we have finished the first the uh, the second sentence. So we will do we will do that the same the same will do the other sentences the same as to we have done. All right. So let's do it. Maybe I will not describe any more because we don't have time. All right. I would like to go to Africa. I can work in the national park. So I would like to go Africa. So we will decide which will be a noun. All right. I would like to go to Africa. I can work in a national park. So we'll put Africa as a place, so that we could put, so we can put the uh, relative clause where. All right. So. We will put the whole sentence. I would like to go to Africa. I would like to go to Africa. Do I? To go to Africa. All right. So let's put a comma. So Africa will be a word we need to describe because it is a place. It has the national park. So we'll put. We will we'll shorten the sentence into uh, that. That next sentence is said that I can work in the national park. So it said we'll put shorten. We'll shorten it into where I can work in the national park. In a national park. All right, so I would like to go to Africa, where I can work in the national park. All right, so let's move to the sentence number four. Number four, her daughter works in the laboratory. She she lives in France, so her daughter and she is the same noun. All right, instead of using her daughter again. We use she, all right. So her daughter will put as a noun, as a noun. Her daughter, her daughter. Then we we'll put a comma, a comma right over there. So then it is the defining a non-defining relative cause. It is a relative cause right over there. So a noun talks about the person. So we'll put who, who. Then a sentence. The next sentence. So who, who, who what? Who lives in France? Then another comma and finish a sentence. Works in the laboratory. Number five. He loves his job. It involves dealing with the public. So it here describe not he. It here describe that the job. So we will put he loves his job. Then the comma. He loves his job. Then the comma. Because this is a job. It is about a thing, an object. So we we'll put which, which, which involves dealing with the public. So we'll write again, which involves involves. Did I write correctly? Okay, okay. A typo. Which involves dealing with the public. So we'll be right back to fill in the answers. All right. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.